Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty here with a vintage crochet hook haul. If you're new here, welcome. My channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group where I post about all my deals, steals, and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world. So this is a lot of vintage crochet hooks that I saw on Facebook Marketplace. It is in a box like this. It is one pound, 6.3 ounces. This person is located in Maine. And I messaged her on Facebook and said, excuse me, would you mind mailing that to me? And she said, sure, I'm just gonna pay postage. So this was less than, this was about 20 bucks for this haul. Um, I can get the tape off. Um, Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Paper. So we have got a we've got a pouch we got a couple pouches in here. So this is the first one. Got a metal zipper. Oof. Okay. So the reason that I did grab this was because in the listing I could see that there was some hero hooks. This is a either a bone or a plastic vintage hook. Um, it has a nice um, end thing and this says it's a size four. It's quite a small size. I need something to put these in. I'll just put them back in the box for now. Let's see. Ooh. Got a nice darning needle. Useful. Um, so now there's some smaller hooks in this one. Looks like we have some 13, 11, 12, Another 14, these are boys. So some boys, some really small steel hooks. What does this one say? Columbia? Columbia? Says it's a 10. I've never seen one like this before though. Have you ever seen a crochet hook like this before? I, it's mystifying me. Look. This one here is the regular boy size. Look at how much smaller that is. Like that's super tiny. Look at it next to my hand. Like, like, what, how do you, anybody seen a tool like this before? Well, let me know down below. This is interesting. We're gonna put that aside to do some research after. Or if anybody knows, has heard of Columbia hooks before, let me know. So we got a boy size 11, a boy size 9. What is that? I don't know if this is supposed to be a stabby tool or if the top of it's broken off. But I can definitely see myself using this if I need to put holes in a piece of fabric to crochet onto them. So, useful tool. Although maybe not its original intention. Uh, this one is a boy, a seven. There's an eagle on this. It says P-A-T-E-N-T. -E and it's got like an eagle on it. I'll see if I can take a photo of this and insert it here because you can't see that. Put that up there to research that. USA equals 10 cents on this boy. USA equals 10 cents. Interesting. Made in the USA. Boy, boy. There's bigger size hooks in here too. I just grabbed the first pouch. Let's see. This one is a boy, a seven. A 10, an eight and a six, 
And then this one, ooh, what is that? This one has a weird thumb rest. That's the cats, I'm sorry. Has a weird round thumb rest. I don't know how I feel about that. That feels like I'm grabbing nothing. We don't need on cats. And this says Victoria. Like as in Queen Victoria spelling, this is the same. It says it's a six. Anybody seen a hook like this before? Let me know down below. Pile to review. Okay, so these are the ones from this pouch. Well, most of them. I have some more in here. Hold on. Got a... Oh, there's some bigger sizes. Hang tight, guys. Ooh, gonna win a chicken dinner. Let me just get everything out of this pouch. Hold on. Ooh, old school diaper safety pin. Trying not to stab myself. Ooh, another nice metal darning needle. Got a boy size 11. This one feels heavier than the other ones. A boy 12. A tarnished boy size 10. So it's all black and tarnished looking. A boy 10 and a boy 13. Ooh. So that's some more smaller sizes. And then has anybody ever heard of this brand before? Oh no, it's Prims. No, that's not P-R-I-M-S. I'm thinking P-R-Y-M. Prims, P-R-I-M-S. It's a size E4, the metal hook. Is it? Has an inline head. Put that over there to research. Woohoo! We found some heroes, guys. This is exciting. This green one is the reason I bought the lot because I saw this sitting face up um, in the picture. So this is a G. I got, so I got a green G hero made in the USA. It's exciting. So exciting. <gasps> I got another hero. I got a blue one. This is a size H. Oh, that's awesome. So this is a five. And this is a 4.5. Two heroes. Ba -ma. That's exciting. Oh my goodness. So exciting. All right. We have another pouch in here. What's in this one? Let's see. Oh, this is like a snappy case. Ooh. This is all together a complete set. So let's see. So for these steel hooks, um... This is really useful when doing like vintage patterns because the hooks are in the, the vintage sizes. And <clears throat> when you get down to these steel hooks, they're the opposite of other ones where I've never even seen a size double zero before. But so as you can see, they're all in the pouch like this, which is the pouch they came in because it says boy on the back of it. So you can see there it's got a gold embossed boy symbol. And this is like a plastic type thing. And it goes down to size 14. See how small that is? The 14. Um, well, that one's out of order. There's an extra one. Okay. Also don't want to break the vintage case. Okay. So we have a 14, a 13, a 1. A 2 9s. A 6 and an 8 over here. And then on the next fold we have... Seven, two, five, four, three, two, one. And then we have, I've never seen this before. I wonder what size is equivalent to. I'll have to look it up. This is a double zero. I've seen a zero before, but I haven't seen a double zero. And here is a zero. So these steel hooks, once you get to the larger numbers, they're actually smaller. Um, so the biggest size in these will be zero, double zero. And these are made in the USA. So you can see, I'll have to look up and see what these are equivalent to. If anybody knows, please comment down below. This is a nice vintage set of boys. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
17 hooks in here. And it's in this nice vintage case, like I said, that just folds up. And it's so it has these two things that fold in. You fold it up and you snap it. That is nice. I like that it's all together. What else have we got? Ooh, what is that for? It's very sharp. What does that say? It says nothing. I think this is for marking fabric, but I'm not 100% sure. It's in this real leather sheath. And it looks like that. This is for marking fabric. What is this for? It's got like a sharp pointy wheel on it. It's got a nice real wood handle. It's been around for a while. Looks like it's built really nice. Let me know down below if you know what that's for. And then we've got a, oh, a latch hook thing that's got a plastic blue handle. Ooh, this is an actual, no, this is not. What is this? What is this? It looks like it's a little crochet hook, but I've never seen a handle like this before in my life. Now, I'm just wondering if this was made to go around a crochet hook, because this looks like it's handmade. Hold on, let me look at these other ones. What does this say? Nothing, it says nothing. This is really heavy. I mean, like, really heavy. That grip is really, really nice, though. Ooh, that is a nice grip. Like, I like that a lot. It's nice and rounded in my hand. But I don't know if this is someone's attempt to make a ergonomic grip for their hook. Because look, you have two, two nails in there that are like, look pretty old school, these nails. I am not an expert at nails, but... Anybody seen anything like this before? I'm loving this grip though. No idea what size this is. Um, tiny, I'm gonna guess. Oh, you know what? Let me see if it matches any of these guys. Let's look. Does it kind of match any of these guys? Let's see. Looks like it might be a size a little bit bigger than a size one, but it's not a boy hook. Unless it might have been like shaved down to fit into this too, because it looks like there's some metal shaving. Hold on, let me close this and I'll show it to you against this. If you look at this, it's like here, like it got shaved flat. I don't know if that was so it would fit in there or what the deal is, but I, I love this. It's such a nice grip. And then I'm not sure what's going on with these two, whether these are just broken or they're meant for something. I don't know what they're meant for. So any thoughts on these? <laughs> what do you use these for? Are these for some type of like maybe loom, loom knitting or something? This feels very similar to this wood, though it's not exactly the same. This is much lighter. This feels like a solid, maybe a walnut. And this is like a strong, like brass. I don't know. What do you guys think these are for? I'm thinking like loom knitting. I could be wrong, though. Unless they're just bent. But this one definitely doesn't look bent. This one looks like it might have been bent on accident. This one does not. Right? help me out. So I definitely think I got my money's worth for 20 bucks. I got two hero hooks to add to my collection. Got to figure out what these are, figure out what's going on here. And then if anybody knows these brands, please let me know down below. Primo, Prims, P-R-I-M-S, Victoria, which is the one that looks like this. Ooh. Um, 
P-A-T-E-N-T. Columbia, which is this really weird short hook. And then this one is, oh, doesn't have a name. That's the one I'm gonna use for a pokey tool. Ooh. Yeah, I think I definitely made a pretty good purchase here. These two alone, and this other stuff to play with, and some new hooks to look up. So yeah, I'm super excited. I'll link um, some of my other vintage hook hauls down below if you wanna check those out. Um, please like, share, and subscribe so your friends can learn to be affordably crafty too. Have a creative day, everyone. Bye-bye.